All right, so we get a lot of questions about, you know, why pre-drywall inspections are necessary and why should I care if you guys come out and look at the house before it gets drywalled? Well, uh, this is a good example of why. So I'm, I'm here doing a pre-drywall inspection. The drywall is being delivered as we speak. And there's a couple of things I can see right away in the garage that I don't like. The insulation here, for example, is not up against the subfloor, which like it should be, it's not supported. So you can see a lot of gaps in it. The other thing that you see is the staircase going to the second floor here is completely uninsulated underneath the steps. Um, so that has to be insulated or else you're gonna have a really cold stairwell. Another thing that I see, in addition to the insulation being compressed and not split around the wires here, is when I come inside, is this kitchen wall here. So I've talked about this before with all the extra framing, but this is actually R19 insulation here in a basically a two by seven cavity. So these are two two by four wall cavities stacked together. It's what we call a double wall. So really it should have two layers of R13 insulation here, but instead they have R19. And you can see what kind of big gaps we have. The insulation again has to be in contact with the drywall for it to work properly on both sides. And this is clearly not. So this will be a cold wall in the wintertime and a hot wall in the summertime. 